Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on over there for some Grixis discard last time playing this deck as is before War of the Spark hits tomorrow on Magic Arena, uh, which uh, as far as that goes, I am planning uh, the first two decks that I'm planning on playing. One is going to be Grixis Control, where basically updating this deck um, with War of the Spark. You know, I'm going to play it with Nicol Bolas, uh, Dragon God in the five mana slot over Angrath, sorry Angrath, and uh, trying out like Narset in the three mana slot and in the sideboard and some other sideboard uh, cards from War of the Spark and and so on. That's those are like the the main additions uh, to the deck. But you know we'll try it out uh, tomorrow and see how it goes. Uh, playing an Ugin tomorrow also because Ugin can be an enchantment removal spell for Grixis where we don't have to only have dispersal. But anyway, this has been one of my favorite decks to play in this format. This has been probably my most popular deck overall also. So I wanted to play this one as my last deck in the format here. Uh, we have two donation decks that we're going to be playing after this. We'll put those videos up on YouTube as well. Uh, but as far as best two out of three stand competitive standard, this is what we got. So hopefully we have a send it off well. Uh, we, did a, we did a just kind of hodgepodge of just like... Uh, a bunch of other decks that we've played in the format where we're just doing playing uh, one match with each one and that didn't go so well record wise but it was a lot of fun and got to play a wide variety of decks so that was enjoyable and there we go that's that's what we got um, yeah let's go ahead and, and get going with Grixis Discard see how we finish up with it We don't really want to be facing mono red decks. Um, <clears throat> want to face more like control decks, mid range and control decks. No, the War of the Spark is not released till tomorrow. I don't know if. I don't think the pre release is going to have seated guild packs. I don't think. Because I don't think they're going to have 10 of those. But actually, I don't know. I haven't seen anything with that, honestly. Speaking of pre-release, no blue mana. I want to keep it though. Speaking of pre-release, uh, my friend Mike wrote out a good uh, detailed pre-release primer in our Discord channel. If you're not a member of the Discord channel, feel feel free to join it right there, the Discord community. Uh, in the limited section, he wrote out like a, a, t a little long thing about it with like 10, 10 little bullet points about pre-release. Get your mind ready for that. Steamkin out of here. So Gruul deck with Steamkin, likely just a mono red splashing sideboard, Gruul sideboard cards, likely. Playing the disinformation campaign here, hoping to find a blue source, like again, where we can like double spell next turn with the thought erasures. But also helps draw us, you know, like two cards, see if we get a removal spell for the chain whirler or anything like that. Yeah, it's a little guide about like just kind of pre releases in general and, and everything. Oh, check it out. It's it's not like very long and detailed or anything like that, but it's a it's a nice it's a nice little uh, thing for him to put together for the for uh, people that are going to like their first pre releases and stuff like that. Well, now I regret playing the campaign before. We obviously don't know if they would have just, just drew this Experimental Frenzy, but now I kind of wish I would have just thought Erasure the previous turn to, to, take an ex to take Experimental Frenzy. There you go, Mike says it's to help people who don't normally play Limited. Okay, there you go. Your crew 
true for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. So I need to get rid of my opponent's hand so that I can dispersal away the frenzy and not have them have any cards in hand. It's difficult to do. I think my, my best way of doing that is having this Angrath on the battlefield. Now, obviously, the Angrath is very vulnerable to basically everything, but overall, like, we're just, yeah, like, we're just not winning this game. So, it's okay. No, War of the Spark is not available till tomorrow. Last time we did this, we went with Thief of Sanity plan and had a little success. This is Mono Red with Frenzy is just our this is our worst matchup. It's something that I'm I'm really glad. Like I don't think it's gonna get much better next set, like in general. Like you you can have some more things for this matchup, but I'm really glad there are so many like gain life cards because I believe Um, because I think that let's go with something like this. I think I think that uh, Mono Red's gonna just kind of get hurt with how how much like anti aggro cards there are in the format for next after next set, and I think that could be a good thing for Grixis. Yes, the the best card for mon for the mono red matchup that uh, Grixis gained was uh, the Enter the God Eternals, the five mana, basically make a four four gain five or gain four life. That is certainly a good card. And I don't have that, um, I'm not going to have that in my deck immediately. As if, if y'all saw my deck list on the Discord channel, I'm not going to have that in immediately. But if if Mono Red's just really popular and if that's too much of a problem, then I'll be starting to put those in the sideboard. Uh, I think Blue Deck's are going to dominate next format. Uh, whether that's like Teamer or Esper or what. I don't know. Just high on all the blue decks right now. I know all these predictions, of course, are, you know, without even playing games yet or anything like that. So it's, you know, very, very early. Oh yeah, combo decks. Yeah, there's there's definitely some combo decks. I mean, the most popular one is the Wilderness Reclamation ones. That they look really good. Like with Rao, looks just to be a strong card. In those, it's not really wonky. Just it could be um, a thorn in the metagame. Yeah, there could be like a, a dread dread horde arcanist. Wait. I did not. I boarded out the Angraths. We need our Nicol Bolas. Like, we need Nicol Bolas. Uh, Thief of Sanity would be nice. 
you know, something like that. Uh, wouldn't even mind, like, negates, just to be able to, like, counter top deck spells. But yeah, no, especially now Cinder Vines, yeah, let's, let's get Nickel Bolas. Nickel Bolas. Just doing this right now before they untap. Yeah, so we really want to draw our creatures. Bolus and Thief. We got seven more creatures in the deck. It's not even worth it to cast this the duress because of Cinder Vines. That's our worst matchup, and we did not get our best card in either of those games. Nickel Bolas is our best card. That's our worst matchup. Ugh, put those two together. It was not good for us. Yeah, we're going to play a Gruul deck also tomorrow. That's Those are the two decks that I have built right now is uh, Gruul Midrange and Grixis Control. It's kind of hard to play a bunch of rhythms with a bunch of Domries. I'm, I like rhythm a lot, and I like Domri a lot. But then the, you know, there's also Spellbreaker there. Like neither really like adds a, th a threat on their own to the battlefield. So it's, it's kind of tough to play a bunch of both of those. All right, we got the Grixis Mirror. This might even be the true mirror, honestly, with our opponent having Archer Varaska and everything. No, they're they're not in Stream Decker. Uh, they are on the Discord channel. I have them in there. Uh, I don't think Stream Decker has the new cards, or maybe it does. I mean, I guess it I guess it does. Yeah, never mind. I guess it does, but I didn't. I have them. I just put them on Goldfish and I put them in the Discord channel. Yeah, we got the true mirror. If you aren't part of the Discord community, that's for everybody. Also. So they didn't have blue mana yet, but still wanted to take disinformation campaign because Oh, they could have had blue mana there. And campaign's just a great card. All right, is this bolus time? No bolus. Ah, it's Kanta. Makes sense. This Kanta is very valuable. This Kanta is probably the most important card. No fire, no steel. I should have played Archer Veraska last turn, so that so that I could discard. I should, yeah, I should have just played Archer Raska here so I could discard the Drowned Catacomb. Because now they play Bolas, I'm discarding Araska. That's annoying. Playing Amulet of Safekeeping and Sideboard to counter the Ral combo. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Does Cinder Vines counter that combo? No fire, no steel.
Slender Vines does not, because it just keeps copying. Dang. That's unfortunate. Well, that didn't work out for me. Because I should have played the coil. I was kind of scared of like what, what their last card could be. And... Good news, there's nothing for them good to get. They can just kill my Angrath, but then my, my Bolus attacks them. But they, they have the Ascanta. The Ascanta is the most important card here. They got more mana in Ascanta, so... Even though we have four cards, kind of total, and they just have the... You shall taste real pain. Like they're they're definitely ahead having Ascanta. No fire, no steel. Yeah, I would say seven seventeen is the is a the default number to have in your forty card deck. As far as lands, seventeen lands. The fact they kept on top is bad for us. No fire. We just no got. Steam. We had to hope that they wouldn't find. Right now, basically, my my way of winning is them not finding a removal spell for Angrath with two Ascanta activations. But they just kept on top. So didn't they? Or the? Oh, maybe they didn't. Maybe, no, no. Maybe they. Maybe they didn't keep on top. Oh, never mind. Maybe we have this. So now if they yeah if they don't have if they don't have it here they'd have to have a land plus activate plus have bedevil so we have some hope angrath win this Yeah, ten, 10 cards over there. Minus 8. I'll die standing before I live kneeling. Way to go, Angrath. All right, our turn 5, Angrath. Just got to ultimate. All right, so now it's going to be a thief battle. I still like having a good amount of removal. Maybe not. Let's get rid of the cast down. One contempt, a lava coil. An angrath. No, campaign's good. I cut one discovery. No, campaign's really good. I mean, it's just a... It's a two-for-one every time you cast it. And whenever we're playing an attrition battle, like, that's, that's really valuable. Um, there are, of course... More valuable things, like if I'm doing, you know, campaign stuff and my opponent just has a Thief of Sanity. There's this probably more valuable, but then again, Thief of Sanity doesn't help you keep hitting land drops and casting your spells kind of thing, where 
campaign does help you keep hitting your land drops. And double spelling and stuff like that. Well, this is just a a great curve out. Be, you know, obviously, it'd be better on the play. No kind of reaction here. Just threat, 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 threat. Okay, there's a reaction spell. We'll see if our opponent has the same curve we do. Playing Thief next turn. I think if... Yeah, okay. I think if they would have played Thief, then I would have had to... Uh, bedevil it. I think. Sticking to standard. Yeah. We have 125 packs that we're going to be opening up at the very beginning of the stream tomorrow. We'll be going live as soon as War of the Spark is live tomorrow. Whenever that, whenever the downtime ends. And then we'll be going to standard right after that. With Grixis Control. With new Nicol Bolas. As well as... Do anything here. As well as Gruel, Gruel Midrange. And just kind of everything else from there. And this deck has just, or the, this format, sorry, has so many interesting cards to build around. They're really trying to flip their Ascanta. I would almost I would usually go as Kanta before before Thought Erasure. It, it depends on like what my opponent's first land was and ev and everything though. Um, but I like to get as Kanta and play right away. Um, it also it also depends on like what other kind of interaction I have. If I like need to Thought Erasure to not fall, like if I if I won't be able to catch up at all if I'm too far behind, like that kind of thing. Hmm. No, I grok. No. It's my normal hair normal haircut. And I get every couple months and then after it grows out a lot, go and get my hair cut again. Huh. I do need lands, but this land comes into play tapped. I mean, I would like to be able to play Angrath here if possible. Let's graveyard it, see if we get more lucky. We did not. Let's campaign ourselves. Never see no fire, no steel. Thanks, Goober Face. Thank you, Gatsby. What do you think about the pre flip as Kanta with Kefnet? Yeah, like that's that's pretty strong. Yeah, like Kefnet's Kefnet's a good card. I don't know if Kefnet fits in Grixis, but maybe I could definitely see Kefnet being like I could certainly see myself adding in Kefnet's into the sideboard.
as ex especially as like an anti-aggro card. No fire, no steel. Yeah, new bolus is better than Angrath. So if I do not cast Bolas here, we're likely just going to have to discard it to Disinformation Campaign. So we like we could cast it and like make them discard something. But I'll just activate as Can't at End Step. We'll just go ahead and discard and activate as Can't at End Step. If we had an extra blue mana in here, then I would have considered activating as Kanta and seeing if we got Thought Erasure. Oh yeah, I plan on I definitely plan on upgrading all the legends decks. Probably not like day one, but um, yeah, I, I plan on upgrading all the legends decks. They all got a ton of tools. I guess I could have found Duress last turn. No fire, no steel. The problem with activating in, in response to the discard to try to keep Bolas is if they have any other discard effect um, as well. Then, you know, we're just discarding two cards instead of just waiting until end step to pick up a card. Sail for high and dry. Those are two really good pickups for us. So we're just going to activate Nicobolas here, get Angrath, Angrath steal their Nicobolas, and kill them. Come on, computer, you can do it. You've been playing the Haunt of the Hightower deck? Nice. Why be a beast when I can be a god? Death. Nothing to me. You're just feed your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Good game. Uh, no, Grixis still has a lot of holes, just in general. The color combination. Um... I don't think it's going to be like necessarily the absolute best thing you can do. <clears throat> you thought you could only steal CMC3 or less? No, it's only if it's CMC3 or less do you have to sacrifice it. Grixis resolve scoops to a resolved experimental frenzy most of the time. I'd say basically everything resolves to or scoops to a resolved experimental frenzy most of the time. That card's insane. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, we got a second discovery. Sometimes it's good to wait till after campaigns to start. He's in discovery, but we got another one. I do not want this to be mono red. Please let this be like, you know, teamer reclamation or something like that, or is it Drake's? Uh, that's not a whole lot better for me. Guess I'm coiling this thing. Really wanted to be playing campaign here, but I don't I don't think I'm supposed to play campaign against that card. Now I don't have a coil for Phoenix though. Ugh, they just had the other one anyway. Yeah, I should have campaigned. Alright, let's start campaigning. campaign the previous turn. Krogo with the Twitch Prime sub. Third month in a row. Thank you so much for that continued support there. Alright, let's pick these up. I want one of these. Do I want the second one? Or do I want to cast two Thought Erasures next turn. Maybe not. Hey, Nathaniel as well. Thank you very much, Nathaniel. Keep getting those hype votes in the chat. We're at eight subs now. Thanks, Valor Axial. Hmm. Mayonetter, keeping that hype coming. Thank you so much, Mayonetter. I don't really know what I want to do here. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bedeviling this Phoenix and then casting the first Ritual of Soot. Do we want a second one? I don't think so. Hey, Kirtash. Skip. And Sneaky Pepper as well. Man, y'all are awesome. We, uh... <clears throat> On this little sub train here. Thank you so much. That's sub number 10 on the day. All right, that is a sub goal. Oh, come on. Oh, well, good thing we didn't keep that other one. Very nice. Good thing we did not keep that. What you got going on over there? I do not really want them to have a land. I I do not want them to have a land. I, I don't want them to be able to double spell. All right, as far as our sub battle days go, that is our sub goal number 13. 
We are two sub goals away until our next sub battle day. That's a day where I just take all day to play against subscribers. So that's, you know, we just hit a sub goal there, getting to 10 subscribers on the day. I'd like to draw a land. Thank you. This lets us campaign plus bolus, get rid of their hand, have a blocker for spellbreaker. Hey Thoriel. Alright, now you can draw your fifth land that you haven't drawn this whole time. Go ahead and draw your fifth land now. We're not out of this yet, even though we've, like, stabilized here. Like, we're at five. Like, they have so much haste, so much direct damage, all that kind of stuff. They have so many good draws. This game is not... Not very... Not very over. I guess. Not over. Well, Ritual sets a good draw. So he gets rid of that thing. We can't really attack because of all their direct damage that we were just talking about. Or all their haste. I basically only have one play. The multiverse is at my disposal. Isn't death amusing? Please, Brick, can you just draw a land? Stop drawing spells. Draw a land. They're still at four lands. <laughs> I guess they had a... Oh, never mind. They had two lands they discarded earlier to my discard spells. They, they actually had six, but... Last few draws have all been gas. Yay, they drew a land. Wow, they did not attack. Am I going to actually have time to activate this Archer Oroska? I don't think so. I don't think we need it. I know what must be done. Correct, yeah, we, we will never get the Phoenix back. Uh, if if we trade Phoenixes, like, we just have a token, they'll get theirs back. Uh, now we have the ability to kill their other Phoenix, though. Decline. Perfect. Alright, what do we want? We do need to focus on ending this game quickly, with us only being at two life. <laughs> Please run. But your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price.
Um, I'm just going to leave the two back. Still the haste creature. Oh, I'm going to have another blocker, though. No, I should have attacked with another one. Yeah, I have this token to block with, too. Yeah, I should have attacked with another one. Angrath. Back to the devil's caves in the Stormwreck Sea I go. Contempt would be a good one to find. No contempt. There's a contempt. is unmatched. Hmm. All right. So. Contempt costs four. Yes, yeah, so we can add Kanta and double Contempt. We need to make sure we have enough black mana for us Kanta double Contempt. All right, that was not a Contempt. Fortunately, I cannot go Angrath plus Contempt. Those are not Contempts. I think we can kill our opponent next turn. Can we? I think so. Uh, maybe. Dang it! That's why I was. That's why I was digging for the double contempt. Dang it! Definitely could have killed them the next turn if I would have attacked for that extra four, but. I feel like I could have maybe finished that out like, even that turn if I would have been a little more aggressive. I was protecting against haste creatures, but maybe I needed to push just a little harder. There. It's frustrating. There's nothing on my sideboard that I just love. Let's turn Duress into Moment of Craving. This is just going to get harder for us after sideboard because this is basically our deck for this matchup. That was a game I... Need to win. So even the last turn, if I attack with one, so you're saying why didn't I attack with one creature the last turn? If I attack with one creature the last turn and then they draw Gruel Spellbreaker, I die. Or 
Zar Shock and Zartar Goblin would not have killed me, but Spellbreaker would have. Yeah, I could get pop after this match. Um, so I have the Contempt for the first Phoenix. Still gonna take Phoenix, though. So that we can have a Contempt for later. Phoenix is just the most difficult card for us to deal with. Not want more lands right now. Let's pick this campaign back up. Oh, well, it's a good, it's a good surveil. Getting rid of those lands and still drawing a land, so you know, like we're not mi really missing our land drop. Keep that's out of there. Let's keep attacking this hand. Then yeah, our first bolus takes out a card and then eats a coil. Never mind. The number of times I've hit a Nullhide Ferox off of a off of a disinformation campaign is very low. Surprisingly low for how much I played this deck. There's just not very many Nullhide Feroxes in the format. Oh my gosh. I don't have a, another black source for campaign. I thought this, like as I was talking and, and everything, I just thought I had it. This was a black source. Wow, that's a really big mistake. That's a really big mistake. It's a killer. Could have been better. Yeah. Well, messed up the tapa. You ought to die. But we have Nicol Bolas the Arisen. So we're still doing we're still doing okay. Yeah, War Boss is, was a little different. Wasn't really expecting War Boss. That was a little different.
That's why my ball is back. The dead shall serve me. I don't think we really need to get queued in uh, dispersal during their draw step. Let's just turn it into a lot more cards by you know picking up you know have it draw a card for me plus pick up these campaigns to draw more cards. So we got that one. Can we get? Game three, when we're on the draw. Maybe grab an extra craving on the draw. Yeah, we could have resurrected War Boss there, but the... Th so the reason why not to do that, like let's say we get War Boss, then our opponent draws Chain Whirler, kills the the token, and kills our Nicol Bolas, or because you know our Bolas is at one loyalty. Basically, our Bolas being at one loyalty was really vulnerable to lots of things like Chain Whirler or a Burn Spell, anything like that. And I wanted to have a backup Bolas because Bolas is so powerful that I wanted to make sure that we had a Bolas even if even if our Bolas the Arisen died to one of those things that my opponent could draw, that we'd have another Nicol Bolas to transform and, you know, to start drawing more cards and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, those Boluses, yes, they, they aren't, like, as fast of a clock, per se. They don't technically kill the opponent, but they do... They do so much. Like, they, they win the game. Uh, what is going on here? Okay. I don't think my... I don't think Arena liked that I took Direfully Daredevil. So we took Daredevil there because Daredevil was a four-mana Thought Erasure. You know, like, they would get to play Daredevil, take my Thought Erasure, and Thought Erasure us. That's, that's a really, really strong card. And so I do not want that to happen. I don't, I don't know what those words mean that you said they're ludicrous. Oh, come on. Yeah, we can't see their hand anymore. We knew what that they had a we knew that they had a Phoenix. I don't remember what else. We're just going with the bolus here that takes out one of them. The next turn we can double spell. I wanted to save this coil for their other for their Phoenix. Like that's that's what I wanted to use this coil on Phoenix. But I guess we may have to get rid of the spellbreaker. Okay. Well, that gets rid of Spellbreaker. It's expensive, doesn't let us double spell, but it still gets rid of Spellbreaker and gives me an answer to Phoenix. I don't know what a capture card is. I'm streaming on OBS. Yeah, the brightness thing is a is a bug. Uh, whenever if if Arena gets gets shut down and reset, it takes away your sleeves, 
and it turns the screen really bright. Stop. Just feed your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, we're, we're going to be doing that tomorrow, Gin Tonic. We're going to be playing this deck tomorrow with... Um, with the changes and everything. No I, I have the list no on my Discord channel if you want to check it out. Or, you know, it'll be, it'll be up tomorrow. You know, we'll be playing it tomorrow as well. What do we got here? Maybe I should be playing as Kanta there instead of the campaign. I was seeing if I would draw a land. I was kind of just being greedy and seeing if we could draw a land and do everything last turn. Uh, that's still three black sources. That's probably enough. Oh, wait. Wait. I should just do this. What am I doing? Just do that. Just get rid of that thing. I was about to be like, ugh, I gotta dig for an answer no for this, fire. and then I was like, wait a minute, no what am I doing? <laughs> no fire, no steel. Alright, we're looking good here. They need to draw like a couple burn spells. Uh, love the contempt. Love that life gain. No fire, no steel. Do we be cute? I think we'd be cute. No fire, no steel. All right. Hey, what's up, Johnny Popeye? All right, we got another one. We are two and one. And uh, we're going to need to, uh, let's reset this, let's reset arena here with after how it just had that um, disconnection. Let's just close it out, reset it. Okay, and then grab puppy. Okay. All right, I'll grab puppy real quick. Puppy. Ugh. Hey, puppy. Alright, this is puppy. How are you doing today, puppy? Hey, Thumai, good game. GG's. Puppy doesn't really like the bright lights of the computer screen. <laughs> now you can see Hawkeye's still Hawkeye's just laying down back there you can see him back there yeah, yeah. yeah this is my puppy she's so great 
No, this is this is my puppy. Or this park live tomorrow. Where are you trying to go? Yes. Yeah, so there we go. Not mono red again. Mono red was our loss. Mono red is a difficult matchup for us for sure. <laughs> you think our opponent's gonna just throw throw everything at us? It's a good call. Yeah, Puppy's really shy. I'm guessing maybe Puppy just doesn't like the bright lights of like the computer screens here. That could be it. Well, I wasted that lava coil. If I knew that there were like a Phoenix main deck kind of deck. Oh no. I don't I don't have another. I should have used a should have waited in ritual sitting. Yeah, this is big red. Stop playing phoenixes. It's the third phoenix. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, puppers. That's ridiculous. What else you got over here? These last two cards. Puppy. All right, well, they're in the driver's seat here. We're both top decking. They got a Phoenix. I have nothing. Plus, they get the first draw step. Come on. <laughs> they we draw every ritual sit and they draw every Phoenix. Not a good. Not a good result. I'm just cyborging like we did last time. Just, just gruel again. We got gruel last time, but just like last time we lost game one. But we don't really sideboard anything, so all these could go our way or could also not go our way. A lot of shock lands. I was thinking there's a de see, so yeah, I was thinking there's a decent chance they don't have a two drop next turn, and that we'll just be able to spend this turn casting another discovery. That was a good choice to keep that discovery. We were going to draw a bunch of lands there. Oh my gosh, 
So many lands. So that's already three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's already ten of our twenty-five lands out out of the deck. This time I I actually want to save my lava coils for phoenixes. This time if possible. Why are you so nervous, puppy? Why are you so shy? Don't like the bright screens? Don't like bullets getting lava coiled? I don't like bullets getting lava coiled either. So I can shock and contempt plus coil. Now let's see if there's another Phoenix. There's another Phoenix next turn. We'll coil it and then Angrath steal the Harpooner. Actually, I'm not gonna steal the harpoon. No Let's get these cards out of their hand. Like they're probably good cards. Like these are these are likely good cards. Yeah, get another harpooner. Yeah, our opponent just plays every like all the phoenixes and always has them. That's annoying. That's definitely annoying. Best start thinking fast. You're on your own. That's less annoying. Okay, we're looking good. Draw a land, pass the turn. Draw a land, pass the turn. I shouldn't have transformed that as Kanta. I, mean, I was thinking like they could like I'm thinking like they could draw like a cinder vines or something. Stop drawing burn spells. Get rid of another three lands to the bottom. Alright, we need to find another Bolas or an Angrath. Seems like my opponent has a burn spell in hand for how they're acting. Hope it's a lava coil. Just fuel for the fires of not freedom. Good. It wasn't a burn spell. I figured if it was if it was a land, they would have just played it because of like the campaign and stuff, but I guess not. Alright. But yeah, definitely keeping up the devil for haste creatures. Ooh. Life gain. No fire, no steel. 
draw Bolas. Nexus or Wilderness? It kind of depends. I... You know, it just kind of depends on the, the state and everything. I... And, like, what, what your game is doing and all that kind of stuff. Um... I like naming Wilderness Reclamation sometimes, even though, like, Nexus is the obvious thing. No fire, no steel. Deckmaster is down today. Uh, it's getting uploaded with all the cards from War of the Spark. Updated. Okay. So on the drop, do another moment, take out a discovery. So we did last time. <laughs> Maybe if you, yeah, you may need a refresh. Uh, it goes live tomorrow whenever the update's done. Update starts in the morning Pacific time. All right, this is pu all right. I'm gonna go ahead and put Puppy back. All right, Puppy, say bye to everybody. Say bye. Bye, everybody. All right, she's gonna go back to the living room. Ugh. I'd like to draw a shock land here for my very first draw step. Dang. Yeah, Cinder Vines is tough. That's a, that's a really good one. You know, turn two Cinder Vines is going to be like you know, eight damage or something like that. That's tough to overcome. But hopefully if we can just kill every everything else before it deals damage to us. Okay, you want to come up here? So much for that. Okay. And they had Collision Colossus also. Shock land. So we take four to play this Angrath. I guess we just do it. <laughs> we got three no turn clock fire, now. No steel. <clears throat> so draw two more lands. Another land. Another land. No. no! No, Hawkeye. Ooh. Um. 
was considering no minus three no Angrath here to steal my bolus to give it haste. I think I'll just keep it on on the D. Good defense. All right, very good. So one mana away from transforming Bolas. Like, if we transform Bolas no before fire. combat, we can get no the Hellkite for four damage haste, but we already have Bolas hitting for four anyway. Yep, tomorrow on Arena. All right, we got there. Got games two and three. Again. Some good games there. We are now Diamond Tier 3. Cool. GG's. All right, before we get to our next game, just wanted to talk real quickly about Quip. Quip is one of my sponsors that if you notice over here and on the left, we are one person signing up for Quip away from another 12-hour stream, from getting a 12-hour stream goal there. Uh, if you don't know about Quip, it is a, <laughs> sorry, okay, it's a company that sells toothbrushes. They have a really good quality toothbrush made by uh, dentists, and you know, dentist recommended, um, has soft sonic vibrations, very, it's made basically to make uh, brushing your teeth easier, more convenient, um, more enjoyable experience. Uh, check it out through, if you use my referral link there, you get your first refill for free, uh, which sends you a new tube of toothpaste and a new brush head, which they send every three months, which is the dentist recommended schedule to get your tooth brush head and uh, replaced. So you don't have to worry about it, just sign up. You don't have to, don't have to think about it. It's like, is, is my toothbrush too old? All that kind of stuff, just send, they send you new ones. Um, if you sign up for Quip, also you get a free donation deck. So if there's any deck in like, you know, War of the Spark Standard, for example, that you want to see, uh, usually it's $20 to get your deck played. On a screen, you can spend 25, get yourself a very nice toothbrush and uh, get your donation deck as well. Host Coz with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. So yeah, one of the best things you can do for your health is brushing your teeth and having a nice, good quality toothbrush. Check them out. Ooh, no black mana. If we had a discovery, I would keep this because, you know, we could cast discovery on turn two. But without discovery... I don't think so. Let's mulligan. Well, I guess I'm going to keep it and hope it's good. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Good thing we kept that ritual set. It's looking good. Yeah, it looks to be like a real nice keep for us. I know, right? We need toothbrushes for pets. Hawkeye needs his quip toothbrush. Sometimes his breath breath smells. Do I want another bolus? So like our first bolus gets tribunaled. Do I want the second one? I think so. I think we keep the second one for the tribunal for the first. I would I wouldn't mind a removal spell to play on turn three to like kill the bodyguard because the bodyguard's gonna be able to save the aspirant uh, during a ritual of set. But if not, we'll just cast the discover the other discovery here on turn three. Okay, yeah, if you're free to play and you want to just build a collection, uh, my advice would be to, you know, do all of your do all of your daily quests to get, get your gold 
and re-roll your quest if it's a 500. Of course, re-roll if it's a 500 to try to get 750. Um, but but do those, win your games, and with the gold you win, I would recommend using that gold towards drafting instead of just buying packs. Um, I think drafting you can get get more cards and uh, you get the, the good experience of playing limited as well. Um, so I'd, and then use use your five thousand gold that you get towards drafting. You get get a few gem. You know, whenever you draft, you'll get a few gems, and you'll get um, you know a pack or so, fear, and and then rinse repeat. You know, keep getting your gold every day. And it's, it's of course it's a slow process, but that's you know there's at least a way to build a collection for free, which hasn't been the case in other. Avenues of playing magic. Well, that's <clears throat> a Johnny is like that's the worst card we could possibly see. You know that dealt an extra two damage. Plus, it's just gonna stay out here and everything like that. That was the worst possible card that we could we could see. If it wasn't for a Johnny, I think that we had basically everything else covered. I don't know. An, an elephant would have been kind of bad, also, I guess. But an elephant meant would have meant that they weren't really attacking. Deliver us to victory. Uh, Johnny was a killer. You're saying. You'd only advise drafting if you're an experienced player. Well, I mean, how how else are you going to get experience in drafting unless you do? It may not like pay out. Yeah, it probably won't pay out off immediately. Um, but it's I think that you know playing limited is the best way to get better at Magic. Whenever you are a newer player to Magic, it's the best way to improve. Also. Hmm. Going real good, Zerf. Yeah, going real good. We're down a game here to Mono White. Mono White's a matchup that, for how much I've played this deck, I actually have not played against Mono White that much, to be honest. Like, I kind of want to cut campaigns, but I don't have a lot to bring in. Like, do, am I supposed to be playing Negates here? Duresses? It's maybe Duresses. But, I mean, they just... Hmm. And if you're doing the 5,000 gold drafts, it is, like, also remember that, that whenever you're doing those those 5,000 gold drafts, those are the ranked drafts. So if you're just starting off drafting, you know, you're going to be in bronze four and so on. And if you're only doing a couple of drafts because, you know, you're just doing the, the couple of drafts that you can, you know, a, a draft every five days or so. You're not going to be, like, leveling up super fast.
Because you also win prizes, Tensor. You don't just get the three packs. You also win prizes. You know, if you win win some games, you can just pay for it, and it's and it's free. And you also get... I think the, the three packs that you get there are pretty valuable because any good rare that you want for Constructed, you can take kind of thing. So why didn't they play the other bodyguard also? I don't know. Oh, it took me a long time to get, like, the whole collection and everything. If that's, if you're asking me, like, how long did it take me to get my collection? I was playing daily since, like, you know, beginning of November. And... But I have everything in standard now. If you want to, if you want to build a specific standard deck, and you haven't played limited, then yeah, like buying buying packs and getting the wild cards, that's that's like the better way. If you want to just build a, a wide collection and try to like collect everything, that's what limited's really good for. Their hand wasn't even very good. But I just didn't I didn't find a sweeper and that other history of Analia. Yeah, just my hand wasn't very good either. It was just me spinning my wheels with just casting discoveries and stuff. But like I, like I said, whenever we were sideboarding there, Mono White is honestly just a deck that I haven't actually got paired up against very much with that Grixis discard deck. and My deck's not really tuned for... Mono white, to be honest. And Bleh. This time I got rid of the ritual of set. That's not having a fourth land. And it's like, oh, we're probably not playing against mono white again, right? Yeah, I could see just bringing in all the Thief of Sandies, honestly. I could see that. I was considering that whenever I was... I was considering that before. I could see that. I don't hate it. Yeah, I, I've I've almost always had sideboard cry of the Carnariums, um, but like I said, I haven't basically ever got played against Mono White, and so I took out the cry of the Carnariums for other things. But yeah, this is this is certainly the matchup for cry of the Carnarium. These were not good last two draw steps for us. And Contempting instead of playing Bolas because I don't want them to be able to flip the Legion's Landing. You know, I could have played Bolas and taken their last card if it was like a Tribunal or something. And then uh, also... And then also blocked fine. Which I could still do now. Yeah, I can Contempt again, but at this point it's like at what? If 
I can tempt again, they they just draw any other creature and we're just in the same spot. And it's just like, what are we kind of doing here? The contempt though can take out a Danto Vanguard, uh, which is you know pretty important if they do if they draw a Vanguard. And I I like having the Bolus on defense so that next turn I can play Angrath, steal something. That's a really good card to steal. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. Your crew from Yeah, we get we get the afterlife token. That's quite nice. So can we beat Adanto the first fort? I don't know if we can. But we're going to try. What do they have in their hand that they just no didn't fire. play? Do they just no keep a land in hand? I mean, my only my only option is to No, we don't. We don't need the arch. We we don't. We can't af afford to spend five mana on it. Maybe we just tried going on the Thief of Sanity plan. Like, is that... Like, maybe that's just better than Disinformation Campaign? Just get us more cards? That way, if I don't want Campaign, it's... I mean, it's... Because it's either that or play, like, Duress and Negate, which I don't really want either. No, Ascanta's not slow. We need a way to take over the game if we stabilize, and that's what Ascanta does, and Ascanta only costs two mana, and it can just take over games. If we get to the late game, we need a way to win, and Ascanta is the way to win. Yeah. I mean, if they ha they just have so many crappy creatures that are good to sacrifice. But, yeah, both Ral and Elder Born are things that... All right. Yeah, and Ascanta can just like dig really quickly for more for like contempts and moment of cra moment of cravings and cards like that. Yes. Can we get a shock land here, please? Or at least they're at five cards, at least. Ooh. Throw that thing on the bottom right away. So 
So unfortunately, with the basic swamp, we're not going to be able to play Sulphur Falls next turn. So I assume I can get some one drops from them. I would like Allegiance landing. You know, one mana lifelinker. There we go. I'm liking this Thief of Sanity plan. Of course, you know, it, it helps against our opponent that mold the five and has one land yeah set reviews up on the youtube channel you can find all of it up there attack Thanks, Zydroth. I mean, that worked out. I don't usually like the Thief of Sanity plus uh, Ritual of Soot combo, but even if we think that like there's going to be times like where we're going to be just playing Thief and having it block... Could just be a three mana removal spell still. I guess I like it more than Duress or Negate. <laughs> yeah, we got Mardu Glass coming up here. We got the donation deck for that. And then we're going to be playing a best of one deck at the end of the stream. Hey, Z Ledge. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Alright, 12th sub of the day. I mean... I guess... Well, that, that helps. I mean, we, you know, just basically it was just keeping turn two lava coil, turn three lava coil, but the opponent mulliganing to oblivion, which happens sometimes when you play mono white. Certainly helps there. All right, we're four and two. <laughs> yeah, best of one's not, not my, not too much of my format either, but this. Uh, Sultai Primal Tide deck looks really cool. I would like to keep this hand, please. Turn 2, discard. Turn 3, discard. Turn 4, discard. That's why our deck's called Grixis Discard. Ah, the old turn one discard also. Hopefully there's a spell in there. There's a lot of spells in here. There's a lot of spells in there. 
That's a graveyard. Uh, we'll see Salt Expander. The two that I'm really excited about are going to be our first two that we're going to play tomorrow. So I was supposed to just take Fine Finality. I guess I was, wasn't I? They didn't have. They didn't actually have three green. I guess I was supposed to take Find. I'm just. I don't like Jade Light. I made that decision too quickly. Discard. <clears throat> Making the opponent discard this much does not leave them very many resources, as you can tell. They got a card in hand and three lands. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start with Grixis Control tomorrow, also playing a Gruul mid range as well. Rah, 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 rah. All right, you got me, Choops. You got me. Keeping the campaign in hand for next turn in case they, you know, draw a, a Vivian or whatever that they can't play here. So I was hoping they were going to draw. Something expensive like that. Hmm. I should not have just played the Blood Crypt so fast, of course. <laughs> oh, real punished. Because, yeah, I could have shocked in the Blood Crypt and... Played the bullets. Why would you grab Branch Walker and not Jade Light? What is... Why Why are we not grabbing Jade Light? What are we doing over there? What are, what are we doing? So coiling that because if we're flipping bullets next turn, I just don't want that thing out there. Alright, I'm certainly flipping Bolas here. I do not want this Vivian to kill my... Kill my Bolas. What? What's, what's like a better draw than Vivian read right now? I guess Seeker Squire is a little better. Even like Brass, they only had one black, so like Contempt, they can't cast Contempt. Like they need to draw that Vivian to tick up and find another black source. Like find another land. Alright, so we're going to take out the Duress and add in the Ral and add in an Eldest Reborn and cut the Eldest Reborn I just put in. Usually that's how I sideboard against Sultai. Just remove that one Duress for a Ral uh, just for another source of card advantage. Yeah, potentially they had their own Eldest Reborn, that that's what they were hoping for. 
Yeah, Sway. Dude, so excited. Get to play War of the Spark for the first time tomorrow. Ah, uh, it's gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. Krasis was their best draw? Why? Krasis just cycled. Vivian would also cycle. But, like, Vivian, you get to, like, have the selection. And it's, like, you know, can help refuel them. When am I changing to Mardu? After a couple more matches. Um, yeah. Another, you know, half hour or so. New Nissa's on the level of Teferi. I I highly doubt that, but you know, we'll see. I don't I don't think Wander is that strong. It's like it's basically good against specifically the color red and not really anything else. Hmm. Whoops. Well, I cut that one really quickly, but I guess I did want to keep it, so. I was trying to get to my to my emotes to say nice. Gonna keep these lands. Um, estimate about sixteen hours. Yes, Deckmaster is down. I don't know if I'm doing 12 hours tomorrow because you know I don't know when they're start but I'm 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 going live as soon as as soon as arena is up as soon as the downtime's over I'm going live so I'm I'm doing a long stream tomorrow but I I don't know if it'll actually be 12 hours Thanks skinny fat man So I'd like to find a disinformation campaign, or an Angrath, or another Bolas. I should not have played that Archer Roska. There we go. All right, well, didn't matter. All right, let's cast Ritual Set. Do they have a Counterspell? Okay. We'll do that again next turn. We're at seven. They're out of stuff. Folly is kind of whatever. Branch Walker.
So they already have a Jade Light in the graveyard, so I don't really have to worry about uh, killing their Jade Light and giving them a new one kind of thing. Because they already have one. I have defeat. I teach you respect. I like minus three more than minus four. You know, I could minus four and get get a, a jade light. Um, but I mean, like if I do that, well, I guess I I mean I couldn't really because of folly. But I like minus three. How we can like minus three again, or now we start ticking up. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad for us because that helps turn on our. Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign. Um, stuff. I guess I need to... I guess I need a Contempt, though. Like, because of the Folly. If it wasn't for the Folly, I would... I would minus. I would, like, minus three the Bolus to, to kill that. And then, like, Thought Erasure and camp Campaign get rid of their cards. I always have an answer. Well, the cast down's a dead card. We don't have any. We don't have any targets for cast down. Cards. I know what must be done. Cards are good. Come on, there we go. Come on, computer. Cox Cable Internet not helping right now. Hmm. I thought fine... Fine finality was going to be a card to take there, but... My knowledge is endless. So many cards. Dilt. No, we didn't get to Bolus Ultimate. No, we were going to try to Bolus, Bolus Ultimate. Ugh. All right, five and two. If we win one more, we'll rank up again. At least get to the next level of Diamond. Well, the ultimate was at 11. We couldn't, we could not ultimate yet. We had to tick up Bolas again there that turn, and then next turn we could ultimate. So.
<laughs> Didn't have any proliferate stuff out yet. Hey, EOD guy. I have not seen any banned rec deck with war. I'm not really a big fan of reclamation myself. You're not, you're not saying it's not good, just not a fan of that card. Yeah, that's true. Both of our losses were O2s. Oh, we're we'll playing somebody in Mythic? Dang. We got paired up. Yeah, I would not be surprised at all if, if Bant is good. Alright, Drake, Coil, other stuff. Let's get rid of the Drake. That's, card, that's just a card that requires an answer and and cycles. Discovery like cycles, but doesn't you know require an answer. So we got nothing to do next turn, but then we can start dropping boluses and. You know, the first one will get coiled, but it'll still eat a card plus a coil, and the next one eats a card, and hopefully the next one sticks around in that scenario. I like seeing Terramander. Terramander, we get to Ritual set away. Maybe our opponent will play another Terramander or um, Enigma Drake. You got me. Love it. Ritual of Set, coming through clutch. Don't kill this bolus, please. Kill the other bolus, don't kill this one. No, stop targeting, no. Yeah. All right, try time to find a third one. There's the third one. All right, don't kill this one now. I mean, so would it a pre reprint of Damnation be too OP and standard? It's, I mean, it'd be better than Kaya's Wrath. But it's, you know, similar to Kai's Wrath, but better. It's just more... It's like a Kai's Wrath that a lot of decks can play instead of, like, just Esper Control having a Wrath. Boom. I could get Crackling Drake. That's, like, an option. But if I get Crackling Drake, then my bolus is only at 3 loyalty. And I like just drawn cards instead. I know what must be done. Drawn cards is always good. Yeah, we could have got a, a new bolus too. That's true. But I'm gonna going for the ultimate. 
We're just two turns away. And we had like the other removal spells to help protect Bolas already, and then we're drawing two cards. It's just going it's going quickly to the ultimate. Alright, reborn, Ral. Come on in. You two. I think I want one less Angrath and uh, take out the duress. Call the day here. Usually I don't like Ritual of Soot as much, but if they're playing Terramanders and Enigma Drakes, it can be good. I could... Could go to three Ritual of Soot and play like a duress. I'll be doing a combination of both sway. So should I should I take out one ritual of set? I kind of like it though. But like they're gonna have like Ral and Niv Mizzet and stuff like that. Likely here. I'll I'll play one duress. Take out one ritual. Yeah, Eldritch Reborn. Um, every threat that the Drake's deck has is very powerful on its own. And Eldritch Reborn being, you know, trades one for one, it doesn't get dive down. Um, you know, they can't protect their threat with a dive down with Eldritch Reborn. And they don't have enchantment removal either, where in two turns we get something back. Also, whether we're getting back a, a Bolas or a Crackling Drake. Or Niv Mizzet if we're lucky. Or a Ral or anything like that. Craving doesn't kill anything except for Terramander, and so therefore it's not a card that I want. There's nothing else that it kills. Unclear if they even keep Terramander in. They likely do, but you never know. Soot is not just for Terramander, no, it's for Enigma Drake also. So there's there's eight targets that we get to soot away. Craving only has four. You know, potentially eight. We don't know how many of those they have in post sideboard, of course. No, Soot does not do the same as Craving. There's Enigma Drake, plus if they have, if they, remember, Ter Terramander gets to adapt. If we're later in a game and they draw a Terramander and they have a bunch of spells, they adapt to the Terramander. Craving won't even kill it. It's just, it's, it's really hard for Craving to actually kill something. Like, this is one of the uh, small amount of scenarios where Craving would actually kill anything in a matchup like this. Electrostatic field. Hmm. Well, good news is no counter spells over there. I was worried about disdainful stroke, basically. Like disdain, like you know, we we basically took a turn off. I was worried about disdainful stroke, but um, theory to be worth it that. Even if we wait a turn to, to sit, they wouldn't really kill very many things. Or they wouldn't deal very much damage, sorry. They wouldn't deal very much damage. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, that did explain why they ditched Lava Coil when they just have more Lava Coils. Play another field. Go ahead, play another one. Hmm. 
I guess so. I mean, I just get to play this plus disinformation campaign. So that's fine. I don't get to play Angrath. But... That's fine. But at least now we have negate, or like you know, if they had you know they had negate, so now uh, we get to still have our Angrath. So we're good there. If I play Angrath and Steel Terramander. Again, they have dive down. That's kind of messy. Bacon bolt. All right, Angrath time. Angrath time. How much fire is there going to be? Same as the amount of steel? No fire, no steel. Mm, none. No fire. So yes, I could play Bolas, but they have Bacon Bolt over there. So I'd rather just activate as Kanta. We're two lands away dark, the search for the unknown. from play That's play just... bolus, flip bolus immediately. One to one ratio, fire to steel. Is gonna fix this. No fire, no steel. And we could have given our bolus haste if four damage was worth it, but you know it wasn't. I hope they don't have the maximized velocity card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't want to just keep it. Nah. No fire, no steel. I'm trying to get get them out, you know, of not having dive down available anymore. We took in a gate. You're messing up my equation. This is gonna hurt. Hooray, no dive down. So now Bolus is vulnerable, but we still have Ral and Grath and Ascanta, so that's okay. But it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward to uh work out like with the fancy arts what what mana I have and everything. I don't think it's too uh too difficult to see. Yeah, it's the internet service provider. There's just not, nothing I can really do about it. Hey, that's awesome. That's great, Zerf. Dude, good luck.
All right, so six and two. We got up to, you know, rank two. I think that's a good spot for Grixis discard here. So, yeah, this, this deck was a lot of fun. Um, you know, favor, you know, probably my favorite deck in Ravnica Allegiant Standard. I have to say this, this deck right here, Grixis discard. It's just, you know, it's Grixis cards are fun. And I, I really like disinformation campaign. I think this has just been a, an underrated card that not, not a lot of people are playing, but is just really strong. And yeah, this was a, this is a really fun deck. I mean, Nicol Bolas is a really fun card to play. And Grath's a good one. Um, you know, we lost to Mono Red once and Mono White once. Um, the aggro decks are going to be our toughest matchups. Uh, like, the really fast aggro decks. But then we <clears throat> beat Drakes, beat Sultai, beat Mono White again. Um, you know, beat some other decks. Uh, it doesn't have Nickel Bowl's Dragon God until tomorrow. Tomorrow it will. Um, so there we go. Uh, all right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one.